all good. Thank you, sir. That was my, uh, my first guest, won an Academy Award earlier this year for his performance in Mystic River. Uh, he's also an acclaimed writer and director, and his latest work, Embedded, is now playing at the Public Theater right here in New York City. Please welcome Tim Robbins. <laughs> You're looking, uh, you're looking fine. Thank you. Well, relax. Congratulations. I don't think I've seen you since you no, uh, won no. the Oscar. That's, yeah. that's, that's great. It's fantastic. That was, it was a fun night, I gotta tell you. That's gotta be fun to win an Oscar. It's much better than losing. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I always thought losing and winning would be about the same. No, but... actually, it's better to win. Oh, wow. I'm glad we talked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change my Oscar strategy now. <laughs> now, where, I just, I know this is a corny question, but I, I, I'm fascinated by this. Where do you keep, where is the Oscar right now? Where do you keep it? Honestly? Yeah. I don't know where it is. <laughs> you, no, my, you're kidding, right? No, my son has, hid, has hidden it. Your son? My 14-year-old son has hidden my Oscar. Why, why would he do that? Because I got him really good on April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah? You know, I got him with a really good one, and he just was... It was so... Uh, uh, it's his April Fool's joke, and I think it's going to last through most of April. Right. But it I better end at some point. It's an Oscar, you know? I, I, it's not like, I, I, I hid well, your slipper, Dad. Well, you yeah. rascal. Exactly why he hid it. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you, this is unusual. Not many married couples can say this, but you guys have his and hers Oscars. Oscars. That's yes. kind of a cool concept. Yeah, you know? well, we, when, we, when I first won, we, uh, we put them in the closet uh, together alone. <laughs> to see if maybe they would sort of... Get it on and make another Oscar. Yeah, we've got some. Uh, uh, what do they call that? Night vision. Yeah, we have some night vision film of the Oscars in the in the in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting film. Yeah, very. And you realize they don't have genitalia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem. But basically, they're single cell organisms. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. all they need is a little more cytoplasm, and they'll just divide. And... <laughs> It's really, really you've, interesting. You've thought it's about like this a discovery. Lot. No, I'm just, I've got the night vision Discovery Channel kind of exploration of this the cool. Oscar mating ritual. This is cool. Yes. Now, let me ask you, I know you're a huge baseball fan. I am, indeed. And, and you have an interesting way of predicting who will win if two teams uh, compete, play each other. Yeah. Tell us about that, that theory. It's well, a system. It, it's a system, yeah. It's, it's not quite, you know, Vegas betting thing. It's more just a common sense thing. Mm -hmm. Like last year's... Uh, World Series, the Marlins and the Yankees, mm -hmm. or let's go before that, Marlins Cubs. Right. If a, if a if a Marlin ever faced off against a Cub, who would win? Right. Right. I mean, first of all, a Marlin is never going to go into the environment of a Cub; they don't <laughs> exist. Right. There. Right. So if it can lure the Cub into the ocean. Right. That cub is, you know, forget it. It's no contest. It's also, it's not a big bear. It's a little cub. Yeah, it's a little cub. <laughs> <laughs> trying to swim. Trying to swim. In I the can't salt really water. swim. Water. Oh. My eyes. And then Marlon has the big yeah. spike. Yeah. <laughs> That's an amazing system. So Marlon's Yankees, right? right. Yankees, what's a Yankee? Uh, um, someone that lives in the Northeast around the Revolutionary time, yeah? Yeah, sure. So all that guy's got, he's got all this gear on, but all he's got is a musket, you know? And he's swimming in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> You're always putting him in the ocean. Well, <laughs> the Marlin's not going to come on to land. Right, right, right. The Marlin needs to draw you into the water. Right, right. Yeah. See, now, it gets really confusing with stuff like, Rockies, the Colorado Rockies. What is a Rocky? I'm not sure what a Colorado What's a, Rocky like, you, is. I know you're a Mets fan. What's a Met? A metropolitan, a city dweller. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we do yeah, really yeah. well against, well, Red Sox, for example. Yeah, it seems like anything would beat red, some pair of Red Sox yeah, lying around. Yeah. <laughs> I must lure the Red Sox into the water. <laughs> Necessary, I don't is know it? If you've noticed, but they haven't been. They haven't I know. The I've noticed. Yeah, I'm okay. from Boston. I've noticed. I know. I feel your pain. In water, they fill up and they sink. <laughs> red socks. But a red sock could could kill a marlin. 
if it gets jammed in the gills. <laughs> All over Vegas right now, bookies are watching this going, he's done it, he's cracked it. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a ton of time, but I want to make sure we talk about this. You, you have written and directed a play, yes. Embedded. Yes. And, um, and you're, you're saying something rather interesting. You're, you're, you're suggesting that people who go see it should maybe uh, do whatever they want to do. Get loaded. Get loaded before they see the play. Ouch. Get a little, a little buzz on, so to speak. Why not? Why not? Where do we get so serious about going to the theater? Right. I mean, first of all, most a lot, a lot of theater is, you know, a little slow. Right. But we're not. We're 90 minutes, and it's rock and roll, punk rock, mm -hmm. hardcore energy. We're rude. Hopefully, funny the night you come. Right. And and it's it's fun. It's right. a, it's a it, you know it's a it's a it's that kind of experience. It's like going when we started doing theater at the Actors Gang, we didn't want to do that living room drama stuff. We wanted to do rock and roll show theater. Right. We were punk rockers. We wanted to do the same kind of energy you feel when you go out. So when do you ever go to a rock and roll concert straight? That's just my... <laughs> I, 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 don't, I just don't... Do it. Does anybody? Well, I, right here, I always... When I would see Air Supply, I would always go... <laughs> I'd have a sensible... I'd have a sensible snack, and then... Uh, <laughs> Sit and watch and then leave early. Yeah. Eight hours sleep, then hit the books. <laughs> but I, don't go by me. That's no, just well, me. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you we are not air supply theater. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Not... <laughs> good, good. But we, we, uh, we've been having a younger and younger crowd come down at the, uh, at the public theater, and it's been more and more fun to do the show because the younger people are so much they more... They bring their own energy, and you get the energy on stage. They're and... ready to give it back. You know, there's, there's a tendency in some theater audiences, and we love you too, but, you know, you're not going to get a nap at this show. It's not going to happen. And there's a lot of nappers in New right. York theater. Right, right. It's too, a lot our, of people that go, and they just are there, and they think it's a... too loud for that, and they res some of those people that love going to theater for naps, they sit there going, damn it, I want to take a nap, you know? Right, we're not, we're right. not giving them that kind of energy. There must be some blue, some older ladies blue that think they're going to go like... see Cats or something, no. and they come see your show, and you blow their wig off. You know? Right. <laughs> And, and uh, we, you know, they can leave if they like, but none, no one's really walked out. Uh, it's just maybe uh, a little dis discomforting for a couple minutes there. Good. But we, but for that kind of, but we've had older people that have loved the show, sure, too. So sure, you can't across generalize. the board, you know, it's, it's a matter of whether you're ready for this kind of energy that we're, we're trying to bring in. To well, the, the show is embedded. It's now playing at the Public Theater right here in New York City. And uh, really nice of you uh, to come back on the show. My Congratulations pleasure. again on all your success. Thank Larry you. King. Thank you. Coming up, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.